We are continuing the game. And oh, hello. I did not see that coming. I did not know that was gonna happen. Okay. That was a great way to start the video, wasn't it? Oh gosh, I paused at the worst time apparently. Time to continue it. So that's a bad place to go. This may be a better place. Oh god, it's a bathroom. Most likely there's nothing gonna be here. But we still gotta check it because you guys are all curious. Nothing. Blood. Blood! More blood! Oh, look at all the blood. Okay, let's go. A blood! Ooh, and guts too. What a nice bonus. God, my headphones are so annoying. I'm really gonna need to change them soon. I'm getting a little static in my left speaker. So, yeah, need new headphones. Is anything in here? Anything of importance? Perhaps not. Oh no, hold up. Perhaps not. Wait a second, Billy can hear me. What the hell, Billy? What the hell, man? Billy. Billy, calm your tits. Wrong way. Fuck. You're not gonna get me, Billy. You're not gonna get me. I'm too clever for you. Too clever. You're never gonna get me. I'm gonna strangle your real body until you die. And then I'm gonna shit it on your, down your throat. You, oh my god, shit. This isn't good. This ain't good. I think I still gotta keep running. I think he's still chasing me. But who knows? Maybe he just wanted to take a shower or something. This is where Billy is. This is where Billy is. Huh. It's a pretty nice place. So, is that Billy? Yeah, that has to be Billy. What do I do? do I, okay. Oh no, I wanted to read the document. Read the- Oh my god, let me read the document, you bitch. There we go. Morphogenic engine chamber maintenance schedule. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system one, the enriched oxygenated pure- Oh my god, so many words I don't understand. Vital system two, electric supply is some supplements ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. Vital System 3. In the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems 1 and 2, the life pod fall safe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling fall safe will result in immediate patient termination, which is what we need. So I've got to do three more tasks. I got to. Hello. How the hell are you down here? That guy just pops up in all the random places. There was like the pits, and then there was against the ooh, battery. And then there was like against a fence. And now, here. And this is the strangest place for him to be. It makes no sense. This place should have nobody besides Billy, yet this guy is here. At first I thought this was Billy, but no, this is the crazy guy that likes to squirm all over the place. Psycho. So, this way maybe, perhaps, I'm guessing. If I keep sprinting, he'll never catch me. Spa. I feel safe. I feel very safe at the moment. Here I go. It's a me, Mario. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Nothing. Nothing of importance. Ooh, documents. Hello. Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus. By Mark Shelley, published in in 1818, chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the requirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires. I don't know old literature, I, don't, I can't translate it. 
Call me stupid, but I don't like to spend a lot of time trying to understand what they're saying in those things, especially Shakespeare. Fuck that. I hate that. Oh, hello. Valve. Also, the name of a famous PC company, which I bought this from. Steam. I think he even noticed me. He noticed me. But I gotta run here. I gotta run some place. I can't tell if that was the correct area to go to, though. That's the question. Maybe I should have been quiet right there. That probably would have been a good idea. That's open now. Let's go this way. If I squeeze through here. There we go. I don't. I can't tell if he can still chase me. I'm guessing he can since he's a ghost. And I'm lagging. This is progress, guys. This is good progress. I haven't used a single battery because I don't need to. Because this place is actually well lit. Which is actually making me very happy right now because I hated staying in the dark the whole time. I know, God. It's, oh, never mind. It's not getting dark. Jump! Kobe! Wait, why the hell did I say that? Oh, God. That's great. Now I gotta go here. If I keep sprinting, he won't be able to do anything to me. I'm safe. Uh-huh. 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 Is this it? Yes, this is. RIP IT OFF! I think I did. Nice. Now I gotta disable his lock. Life pod, and then I finally succeed. Oh, now it's gonna be all dark since I just. Aw, oh, man. Now this is why I needed the batteries. The true test. Now, let's see if I could actually remember how to get back. Oh, good. It's just one simple. Jump. Oh, Billy. Billy! I'm alive somehow! But now I gotta run. I'm in danger right now. Oh, I don't even need... Oh, it's still lit. Weird. What was the point of... Oh, it was just for the light pot, I'm guessing. If I go fast enough, I will be there in time. Where's the pot? This is his pot. Dear... Oh, I know what to do. Turn it off! Yeah! Record all this bullshit! What? 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 No! No you don't! Oh! I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Dude, play- act like you're dead. Oh my god, you should have acted like you're dead. No, no, let him live. He's dead. I think he's finally dead. Please tell me this actually happened. Oh, God. New objective, get out. Oh, now I can finally get out. But I gotta... Oh, oh man. How do I get out exactly? That's the question. Is there a way to get out? Oh, what's that? No, that's not how you get out, is it? Damn it! I gotta look for where to go get out. Oh, there we go. This is progress. I don't think you can make it out. Miles is too much damage. Come on, Miles, you can get out. You can get out. I, I believe in you. Miles, come on, man. Oh, he's not going to make it. Oh, 
Come on, this is actually killing me to watch. Oh, wow. After we got so far, in the end, it doesn't even matter. What the hell? And guys, I literally was, I did not intend for that actually be a Lincoln Park reference. I'm just saying, literally, it doesn't even matter, I'm guessing. If, if he dies, what was the point? No one's gonna see the video or anything. Miles, you're almost there. Come on. I think this is it. This is his final steps. No, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? What the fuck? What did we. What did he do? God. That ending was actually a really good plot twist. Oh, wow. I actually understand that. I understand what that was about. What happened was, the wall rider was, was going to end up dying. So what he did was he ended up possessing Miles. And that's why as you're walking, you hear the wall rider in your ears because he's still not dead. He's inside you. He's like a parasite. And this is just a theory, so if, if I'm completely wrong, please don't just go and call me an idiot. I would, I would like someone to politely actually tell me what really happened. But, so I'm guessing that when they killed him, the Wall Rider already took enough from Miles, enough energy from Miles to actually continuously live without needing a source of the energy. So he doesn't need his former body, he doesn't need Miles' body anymore, he's in his own being now. And clearly, that's not going to end well for anybody, because now he's able to kill anybody he wants. That's a really good ending. Wow! So we've seen some very unique characters. We've seen the twins, we've seen the Hulk guy, I think. His, his name might have been Chris Walker. I don't know about that. I don't even know who Chris Walker was. Then there's the Wall Rider. There was the priest who wasn't really violent, he was just insane. Loco and the Coco. Oh, wow, there was a lot of variety of people that you had to watch out for. And then there always and then there were also those mini characters, like the one in the generator room, and the one that stabbed me because I was very curious. This game was actually very good, and the ending of it is what really um for what put Frosty on the cake or whatever the saying is, sealed the deal. If you guys are curious about playing Atlas, I highly recommend it. That was a very, very good game. <laughs> and now I think I really am going to play the DLC. I really want to try that uh, Whistleblower DLC because, as I remember, Whistleblower is the guy who sent you the email in the beginning. So I'm guessing we take the place of him and see what he's been going through before Miles ended up showing up to the place. So now that may actually lead into more information about it. And, oh, that was really good. Uh, wow. All these people on the credits, you gotta give them an applause. They did a really good job with that horror game. It was very good. Craven Manor doesn't compare at all to that. Craven Manor looks like shit compared to this, actually. Let's be honest. Mannequins are nothing compared to Psycho's. Whoever, and not only that, but they also brought paranormal activity into it. Like, that's really interesting. For a mental asylum, I was either thinking it was just going to be all paranormal activity or all psychos. I didn't expect it to be both. And even though the paranormal activity started happening at the end, that was really good. Very interesting. Huh. Well, anyways, now it seems like the credits are over. Yep, the credits are over. So... Now I'm gonna have to conclude the, this video game series, or whatever, video game episode series. If you guys like this series or video or whatever, click the subscribe button, hit the like button, because 
that was actually really good. I'm pretty sure you guys actually enjoyed it if you saw it from the beginning to the end. Besides all the parts where I didn't even know where I was going, of course. But anyways, bye guys! <laughs>